Why Chiyori is not Geo coaching? Is she better or is she worse? Chiyori is Genshin's newest Geo sword character we've had since Albedo, and a lot of people don't seem to understand her kit. This is why she's better or maybe even worse than having a Geo coach. A lot of people seem to believe that Chiori could potentially replace Albedo in some instances, yes, however, her kit allows her to be an off-field DPS and we are going into some detail about her kit in a moment, so I don't think she's going to be a DPS, so this is just the weirdest quirks when it comes to an off-field DPS, that's what she has in her kit, and with those quirks comes some Yankee. So in your gameplay you have to adjust if you want to play her correctly. These are a few things that she does correctly. First thing, she is an off-field DPS. You can't go wrong with that. You could have her be an on-field DPS character if you have C6. That is pretty much it. Second thing, she needs other Geo characters to really bring her into life. And lastly, her having both attack and defense scaling is pretty nice when it comes to her damage output. Now this is what she does. Her elemental skill. When tapped, Chiori dashes and sweeps her blade and causes damage based on her attack as well as her defense. So, if you hold it, you can adjust the dash to wherever you want to go. And while Tamato, the doll, basically is active, which you get when you, you, know, you press the elemental skill, when there are geo constructs on the field that exist, Yori will get an extra tomato. Still kind of weird to say tomato. Uh, an extra doll onto the field, which means that she needs a geo character that creates a construct on the team. For example, Zhongli with the pillars, or main character with the boulder or the ultimate, to really bring the most out of her kit. In her kit's talent also, Chiori will gain different effects depending on the action you took after using the skill. So. If you just tap the skill again, you will change your current character and switch on to the next character in your roster. When your active character does normal charge or plunge attacks after using the elemental skill, the tomatoes will both hit as well. Um, tapping the normal attack button instead during your elemental skill will allow Chiori to gain Geo Infusion. Her burst will mostly only deal Geo damage and will go based off of both defense and attack percentage which is really nice which means her burst might actually be kind of a nuke in this situation and with that it should also be pretty cheap to initiate though her energy cost will be pretty low as well which is really nice to have. Her best in slot weapon which will be featured on the weapon banner will have a defense stat on it that will help her deal more damage but but I do think that it won't be the main stat because in the livestream they said oh it will have some extra defense I think that will be a sub stat thing not a main stat thing because it does scale both on attack and defense so I suspect her weapon will have to be crit rate or crit damage and the sub stat will have additional defense both. Now that we know and understand her kit a little bit better we can now deduce a few things. Firstly she isn't really another Albedo but could potentially be pretty great anyway. Secondly, she needs other Geo characters to help get the most out of her elemental skill. And lastly, her scaling is pretty nice. We already covered that. And now, Yori will also make it so characters like Navia or Ito will benefit from having her off field dolls or tomatoes, whatever you want to call them, with them while they attack at the same time so they can do coordinated attacks. But since Navia mostly needs her elemental skill and burst, Unlike Ito with his charge attacks, we might need, you know, find some discrepancies creeping in when it comes to efficiently using her entire kit. Though she looks pretty nice to have with mostly Geo units, it's unlikely that she is going to be useful outside of Geo teams, which means that she would be a pretty niche pickup to get if you're looking to get the most out of your Geo. Artifact sets. Um, though her artifact sets should be pretty simple, I would probably go with golden troop or husk or maybe even the noblesse if you really want to if you don't care about her burst go golden troop golden troop will be really nice because you'd be using her amount of skill and then dipping that's all you need um you could use her burst still and then dip anyway so you can get a little bit more out of her kit but if you do stick to just the husk or noblesse that will give you a little bit more for your burst damage and that will be pretty nice as well although her scaling is both 
on attack and defense, you will want to have a little bit more defense. Our artifact sets for the timepiece would be defense percentage or the goblet, you would want defense percentage or the damage opponent. And for the crown, go for critical rate and or critical damage or even defense percentage if your crit values are already pretty good. So it should be pretty nice and simple to build her if you have the. Now for the weapon, you'd want to crit rate crit damage obviously, but if you can't have any of those, defense percentage or attack percentage will do just nicely. Now for her constellations, the potential team you would be looking at is something like Ito or Navia with Chiori, Fiorina, and Noel if you want a mostly Geo team. However, obviously, you can change Noel for maybe Bennett or any other healer, even Shanyan, but I don't know if I would be plunging. But yeah, it would be kind of nice to have a little bit of that going on within your team. However, you'll only get a Geo construct with Ito and not with Navia. Navia doesn't really have a Geo construct. So Ito's Ushi actually counts as a Geo Construct, which means you get an extra doll from Chiyo. Characters like Jonglier or Albedo will be easy Geo Construct they can get, as well as the main character. But Ningguang might actually be a little bit better for the Jade screen uh, to get the extra Geo damage bonus. And you can play Goro here as well. Goro fits in any Geo team, so this will be pretty nice, especially if you have Geo and, you know, defense scaling characters. Characters like Bennett aren't the most you know amazing for this especially because you might be using other defense scaling characters but if you're using ito if you're using um if you're using Chiori, it actually kind of works because they do scale on attack as well uh though i would stick to noel if you want a little bit of shields but if you want to avoid you know having shields or whatever goro and jongli together would work pretty well because if you have enough constellations on goro you could actually heal even though it's kind of bad if you have free arena now that I went through all that, would she already be all that great? I don't know, but she will rival that of Albedo for the sub DPS spot for Geo characters. I've, that's pretty cool because we haven't had that sub G, you know sub DPS Geo spot filled by any other character other than Albedo for a really long time. I don't know if that means she's better or worse, but she you know we'll have to see if she does compete with Albedo. Though her kit might seem all over the place and when you initially read it, it really isn't that difficult to craft as her elemental skill is her selling point. So I still think she's pretty niche and isn't a character that would be used over and over again in many different teams, but within Geo teams, she would be a pretty easy staple to have and uh, I think she's going to be pretty nice to have within two teams specific. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. That is all from me. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. 